here an important step was done as you can see <laughs> some plants are missing they are now thrown to the ground and the only standing ones are a few and the polovnia trees so that is the next step in the evolution of this strip and this is also the prototype of uh, what we are going to do in all the other places where we want to establish the very same thing so to recap the idea was to loosen up the soil by any means possible in this case it was the excavator the excavator dug about a meter deep we did not respect any soil horizons assuming that we don't have any so it doesn't really matter if you have a very very low organic content then there isn't that much of a soil horizon so we are building up the soil from zero basically and because of that the excavator dug here to loosen up this uh, this very hard layer of um, yeah, almost concrete. The idea is to let plant roots continue from that point on. So this is a one-time thing. And then we see that a mix of uh, sunflower, sun hemp and corn. And also shortly after that, once they arrived, we also set a few of the polovnia trees. Here in the strip it was 10 in total. So then this got watered and watered and watered and with the heat that we have now it is growing very well. And as this piece here was seeded a little bit earlier than the remainder, uh, it's probably two weeks of difference, um, the sunflowers made uh, their flowers and uh, a little bit of seed. In this case I have to admit I did not wait until the seed was fully developed because there were too many sunflowers in here anyway. So the seed that I brought out before I cut this is only the sun hemp. So the sun hemp is what you see next to the polovnia tree. Because they grow tall but allow a little bit more light to get to the ground. So it's not as dense a canopy as the sunflower creates. And going forward the mix is also important to be more sun hemp than the others. So it's probably 60 or even 70 percent sun hemp and the rest in equal parts sunflower and corn. Um, the person who was helping here um, brought in a lot more sunflowers so we have corrected this because the sun hemp is more interesting. It's because the sun hemp has a tap root and what we want is we want to have very deep roots that help with water retention. So that is basically the cure that we can apply. And now that is open, um, it gets watered the same way as before. Most of the seed is probably covered, so the birds will not get to it. And my hope is that the sun hemp will now germinate between all this. I let the stalks there also because they continue to do some photosynthesis, so the roots are not dead just yet. So that's important. Eventually, of course, uh, this, will, this will die off. But living roots in the soil, so I hear, is very important. So I try to maintain that here. And now the um, trees get a lot more direct sunlight. And they should now grow up a little bit taller. I kept them pretty open so that they get enough light. But here and there they were lacking a little bit behind, so my hope is that now, being completely in the open, this tree will make a lot more leaves. Might not be necessary, but this is good to compare and that is one of the reasons why I cut this down a day back, a little bit prematurely, so that there is something that we can learn. So the rest here stays as it is until the sunflowers have made their seeds and then we will see maybe at least some because we don't want uh, even more sunflowers in the same place <laughs> because you see down there you can probably hardly see anything that is because it is so dark so on there you see the tree inside this should be enough because the tree with the high sun 
does get enough sunlight so that's okay and over there in the back there's even one that is almost reaching on top so let me show you proof <laughs> So there, there is the one that is pretty tall, but it's because the others are pretty small. <laughs> that is why this works. And what I also just did when I was watering, I cut down a little bit around here for the same reason, so that the tree is more exposed to the sun and the other stuff around wasn't growing that well. Because of course here is the edge and the edge is dry. so. That water that I throw in here gets also sucked out, so there is some loss. I cannot water the whole area. <laughs> Rain would be great, but it appears and disappears in the forecast, so no luck so far. So far, summer is the same way as it used to be. So we had a very late second spring, and now summer is just the way as it used to be. So no change. Um, now that I'm standing here, I can also pan over and show you this. And the dogs prefer to go for a drink there. Somehow it has a different taste. This is the water seeping in from below. So that is very positive. And there are also some things uh, coming up. Apparently there is some seed or the birds dropped it, but I would think there has been some seed. How it got there, I have no idea. But you see a few green sprinkles there. That's okay. In winter this will all be submerged. And then we will see how, how much longer the water will stay there. Of course this will not grow. But that is our water level. So that's the important point. 3.4 meters. And to finish this round here, let me take you... Actually, let's go this way. Let me take you behind the yurt. The yurt that will be disassembled very soon. So at some point when there's an opportunity we will disassemble the thing and reclaim the area. This is where the um, little building for the solar system is going to be. So here I can show you the Palovnia trees. The problem with the yellow leaves seems to be disappearing. They get watered every two weeks for a little while, an hour and a half, maybe two hours. And as you can see, the leaves are getting bigger. And the yellow ones, well, they have been yellow and the tree will shed them. So they are going to disappear. And the new one here, that's the one that came back from the roots, is almost as tall as the ones around it. So that's very impressive. So I can repeat, technical cut seems to be important. In the second year, the tree will grow more vigorously than while it has to make roots and leaves. So apparently here in this climate, I have been told this by experts that have been growing palovnias in Europe for a while and uh, they say that is important here in this climate. In other climate it isn't. But here in this climate where we have maybe nine months of growth, that seems to be important. And of course we have um, a portion of the year that is not 35 degrees and that is what these trees like. So all things considered, it is important to have a bigger root system for better growth above the ground. And as you can see, we are almost reaching the branch of the oak tree behind. So eventually that wall will go up and yeah, I don't know, overtake this, <laughs> we will see. But definitely it will be a tall tree. And also the grasses here and also other things. I think this is a very young requos, so this is a problem, but it shows up because there's water. And, well, it's there. <laughs> I know that in the UK people dig it out. If this actually is requos, it seems like a problem, but on the other hand, this is all biomass, and biomass is what counts. 
So I am counting on the natural succession of plants. So this seems to be a pioneer species. And if it's rackworts, then so be it. Um, it will be cut and cut and cut, not eaten, because we use a mechanical device in here. And then eventually it will be overtaken by something else. So I think that's not so big of an issue. Of course, if I wanted to have um, a grazing area that is perfect for my cattle and nothing else is in consideration, then of course that would be a problem, but that's not the philosophy. So my philosophy is let it grow. Anything that is biological is welcome and eventually the system will reach a balance. And in between, the imbalance will create all kinds of bad things, but they're only bad if I see this from a point of uh, someone with a commercial interest wanting to extract. And I'm not um, in this to extract, I want to restore. And that means I have to allow the system to find its balance. So there's this uh, movie um, the Little Big Farm or so it's called, and it took seven years for this um, farm. They have been producing peach eventually to find a balance. And all, over these seven years, they lost and lost and lost, and the birds ate all the fruit and all these things, and had all kinds of pests until eventually the system reached the balance. So. If it takes seven years, then it takes seven years. There is absolutely no problem. But then, of course, don't do this if you can't afford it or if you can't accept this. Because being able to afford is one thing and the other is that you cannot accept it. So there's also this mental component. And I think it is important to accept it. This is another one that got cut down involuntarily a few times by animals. But it's growing and it will come back. And eventually it will be as tall as the others. At some point we might take one or another tree out of this here, maybe, and turn that tree into wood chips. But I think the density there is okay because we are after the shade. And as you can see, now they are making shade. So that is very positive. After all, this is going to be the dog enclosure in the future. So there will be these trees here and here this uh, little building for the solar system and all these elements provide shade so that the dogs when they have to be in here for example we host an event and we don't want people to be between the dogs or the dogs between the people um, not everybody likes those large dogs as we have seen already in some of the comments <laughs> i don't mind so don't worry um then they will be in here and it might be that they will not leave this area for a week. Which is also why this is so big. Oh, I'm not sure, but it might be um, 2,500 square meters. So all this, all the way up there, that is the future dog enclosure. Basically there where that gate is, draw a line to the wall that is already there. And all this is the dog enclosure so that they can stay a week here without getting aggressive and feeling sad and that they have enough space to uh, stay apart. That is what they here and there need to do. When they fight over rank, there is a way to um, go away and all these things. And speaking about the dogs, of course there were some losses. So that tree is not lost, but um, there's only one leaf left. It seems to be growing, so there's no problem. But of course, this is also the entrance. So basically, they go in and out, and you see there, this is a little bit lower, because there is space reserved to install a door. So the only thing in the future is that tree, and then there comes the door. There is enough space for a human to pass under the shade of the tree. And here is the next one. So basically here where I'm standing, you can go straight and that is then the entrance or exit for a human. So there, there will be a men door basically. And of course the corn and sunflower, they will not be there in that future. What will be there instead? 
that is at a later succession stage is Bermuda grass. So once that soil is better, um, we will then seed Bermuda grass, but this is for next year. And the other loss that we have is the tree here. That seems to be a total loss so far, because somehow they did something here, probably chasing another animal or playing amongst themselves. And uh, this is now an empty spot, but it doesn't matter because here is the next one. And there is the other one, so if that tree is missing, this is not the end of the world. Um, maybe we set another tree there in the future. Might not be a Polovnia, but something else. So that's all good. Well, that's something unexpected. There were some clouds forming. And as you can see in here, we do have some rain. So this is the first official shower of this summer. So you can see the car is getting wet. Oh, well, wait, zoom in a little bit, you can see it. So this is certainly helpful. Oh, you can see the wetness there. But then if I pan up, you can see that the sky is basically blue. But this guy here is apparently the source of the water. So that's pretty cool. This is just that one cloud. Oh, the one there. And everything else is blue. Maybe that one brings a little bit more when it comes here. Might be. If you have soil that is able to use this water, then that's a blessing. If you have compacted soil, then you are out of luck. Hence all this work. Well, it appears that this wants to be a little bit more than just a dribble. Oh. As you can see, it is accumulating. The color of this is changing. And if I walk over there, if all these dogs allow me, come. I don't know where all these dogs come from. Then, over there, you can certainly see that this shower is quite real. Behind this, there is a little secret I will show you in the next clip, I guess. <laughs> 